So here I have the FL Sun QQ Delta 3D printer. This is a large volume 3D printer that's capable of printing 260 millimeters wide by 370 millimeters high. And one unique thing about this printer is it's not quite a printer kit. It is actually mostly pre-assembled. So there should be minimal time for setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing of this just to show how it's packaged and what comes in the box. And then I'll follow that with a quick assembly of the printer and I will time it to see how long it takes to put that together. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I do own a couple of FL Sun 3D printers, and one thing I've always been satisfied with is the packaging. So right off the bat, I do notice a few different things with this printer uh, as far as the instruction manual. There, there has never been a physical paper manual in the past that I have seen. They usually include an SD card with the instructions digital on it, so it is nice to see a, a paper manual for the setup. Uh, a couple other things, there's the certificate, there is a warranty card, it looks like we have some gloves for the setup, some zip ties, some rubber dampeners, the um, print head cleaner tool there, and probably some lubricant here, as well as a couple extra print heads there. Also included with this printer is all the tools needed for the setup and use of the printer when printing. So here we have the wire cutters, a spatula for prying the prints off the print bed when done. There is a pair of tweezers and some Allen wrenches and screwdrivers that will definitely come in handy. So here's the spool holder. This looks like the print head assembly. These are the rails and they all look to be nice and straight. And these are the rail guards. We'll go ahead and take a look at what's under this first layer of foam here. Okay, so here we have the pre-assembled arms with the guides and the print head assembly. So that should all go on pretty easily during installation. Looking at the assembly here, the belts are already running through the base of this printer. So when pulling everything out of the box, you just want to be careful not to pull too hard on this assembly here um, because you don't want to put too much tension on the belts, cause any damage underneath. So here we have the base of the printer. There's the top of the printer. And over here, we have two spaces for all the necessary screws for setting up the printer. So this is the base of the FL Sun QQ 3D printer. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottom, which is not necessary for the assembly of the printer, but I just wanna go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So let's see what's inside here. Taking a look, right off the bat, I noticed all of the wires have connectors on the end. Uh, there's no bare wires exposed, which is something that I'm kinda of used to with a lot of the kits that I've built in the past. A lot of the plugs appear to be glued in place, so they're not going to vibrate out. And we have the main power supply, which is pretty standard. And the stepper motors, one thing I really like about them is the vibration dampeners, which are known to um, minimize noise in the, the stepper motors when printing. So overall, I'm very impressed with the way that everything is assembled and it's nice and clean. And so now we'll close it up and move on to hopefully assembling the printer fairly quickly and getting a first print printed out. Okay, so I have everything laid out here in front of me for the setup of this printer. I will be following the instruction manual here step by step. I did not read it first, so it's all new to me as far as the setup goes. Uh, I'm gonna be starting a timer to see how long the setup actually takes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first step here, looks like they want us to take this assembly 
and lay it all out on the printer in the orientation that it will be going. And then we want to take the rods through. Now one thing they're noting here is you want to make sure that the rail that you're installing on is the right side up. So the belt that's coming out is going down to the base. Okay, so with all the red set, we're going to go ahead and use one of the included Allen wrenches to tighten the set screws. Keep those in place. Okay, so we got the set screws tightened. And now... Looks like we're moving on to the top on. So we're going to do the same thing on the top. Just insert those rods into those that they go into. Okay, and now we're going to tighten those set screws. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the twist ties off of these belts and remove the tape as well. All right, so now with the belt, you want to take the pulley, move that up into the corner, and without twisting, put it up through the top here. We'll use thumb screw to screw that in place. We're going to get that nice and snug, and that will give us the tension that we need for the belt. So we're going to go ahead and do that with each of the three corners. Untwist tie these wires here. Bring those down into the wire at the base. Okay. Okay, so the next step is connecting the power. Okay, so what we're going to do with that is take the plug from the hot end, put that through the top, take this, and then line them up, and simply screw them in. Next, plug in our extruder stepper motor. Just feed in. Put it in. And connect the boat in too. When installing these side guards, what you're going to do is slide them up first, then drop them down. Then they use the included thumb screws to screw them up. We'll go ahead and do that for all three of these. Okay, and the final step here is the spool holder. We'll go ahead and put that up top. We'll use the thumb screws to 
Screw that in. Okay, so I'm all set. I can go ahead and stop the timer. Okay, so 25 minutes. That's really not that bad for setting up a 3D printer, especially one of this size. I put a lot more time in the past into setting up 3D printer kits, and so with that, I'm very impressed. It's very good build quality, very durable printer. Um, another thing that I've noticed between previous models in the past and the QQ model is the quality control. So all the parts that were pre-assembled were put together good and that made it a lot more easier for me to set it up myself without having to go back and check on things and make sure everything was uh, put together properly. The instruction manual is easy enough to follow and I really feel like I could have done this faster, maybe 15 minutes or so, had I looked at the instruction booklet ahead of time or watched an assembly video ahead of time as well. So overall, very impressed. I should get some decent prints out of this. So let's go ahead and move forward to setting this up for printing and see what we can do. So with the build complete, I'm going to be doing a separate video for the initial setup and first print with this printer. So if you would like to see that, please like and subscribe to see more videos about this printer specifically. And this can be purchased on Amazon or Banggood. I'll leave some links down in the description, so feel free to take a look at that if this is something that you're interested in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.